Please welcome actor and comedian Blake Clark. Now, what are your other characters like? I, we we saw uh, that. They're guy. guys that have not had vasectomies. <laughs> it's a real stretch to play those guys. How do you I've, do it all? Oh, well, three not. sitcoms at once. Well, usually uh, there's a lot of sitting around home doing nothing in between. <laughs> I uh, I, do, I play on Boy Meets World. I play a guy named Chet Hunter, who is uh, he's just a sorry guy. He's like a father of this one of the kids, and he's always on the road, he's always going away looking for the kid's mother, and then on. Uh, on uh, the Drew Carey Show, I play the uh, wacky next door neighbor. Just when you thought that American creativity had reached its nadir, they come up with the concept of the wacky next door neighbor. <laughs> Boy. Uh, now, so, is, is any chance of a spinoff? That's what I keep hearing, but. Uh, well, which one? Tim, huh? Which one? Home, home Improvement. Tim oh, keeps yeah. talking about it, and I don't know if I should be mentioning it, uh, you know. In, there's all those things. You remember when you used to go, go out, you do a pilot and you never tell anybody because it would jinx it. Yeah. I used to do that and they never went anywhere. So I should just start telling them, yeah, we're doing a spinoff. <laughs> I'm in it. But nobody's told me, but, told me anything now, about it. Now, you're, you, you do a one-man show, am I correct? Yeah. Well, I do stand-up also. Well, but well, everybody does it. I mean, you, every... you, you come from stand-up. Yeah. Uh, I've been working on a one-man show called Smite the Sounding Furrows. That's from Tennyson, is it not? Yes, it is. Yes. Very good. That's it's from, from Tennyson. Uh, yes. It's about it's about uh, aging or old, you're going older. Yes. Well, it's about Ulysses after he's done all his travels and he says he doesn't want to sit around and uh, rust, that he wants to continue to sail beyond the sunset. So I figured, you know, I'm almost past the sunset. So <laughs> it's just about getting older and how things change. And I did one one-man show called Front Toward Enemy, which is about my uh, experiences in the military. And uh, got a pilot out of that, but it didn't go anywhere. Now, you, you, you were, your experience in the military were in Vietnam, correct? Yeah, I was an infantry platoon leader. Now, what... Kind of, kind of start to see why we lost that one. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was leading troops in combat. They're scary. <laughs> and you still got that military haircut. Well, I didn't, I didn't used to have this. I just, I just got this recently. I had that in the 60s. I had that exact haircut. We used butch wax on it. Yes, butch wax. Butch wax. That and then, yeah, you put it right here so it sticks up. And now, let me ask you a question. Now, in 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 the difference in let's say World War II and Vietnam and the Persian Gulf, what is the difference in in comedy, in your opinion, of those? Very few people do comedy stuff about that, but you you well, obviously have. No, first of all, I fought in the only war we ever lost, <laughs> so you got to kind of go for the comedy there. <laughs> you, know, you can't go, hey, hey, we you. Know, you know. Uh, yeah, you know, I, th I was thinking about this. This, this is a strange thing. We, uh, we won World War I. We won World War II. We won Desert Storm. Uh, just cause when we went to Panama, we won that. We lost Vietnam and we tied Korea. Because we didn't name the war. <laughs> See, we should have named it. We'd have won. We should have called it something like, you know, we shouldn't be here, but since we're here, let's go ahead and get this thing over with so we can all go home. <laughs> Clinton won't have to run over to England. <laughs> Thunder or something. Do you, st do you still go out on the road with stand-up? Yeah, I, I go out to these uh, clubs, but boy, have they changed over the years, you know. In what way? Well, they used to be, she's uh, probably digging a hole here. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> they used to be really intelligent crowds did come to the... I know. It was Saturday hey, hey, night. Hey, hey, hey. I'm talking about you. Uh, Am I? <laughs> so. so Saturday night buses pull in. That's the group that... Well, you know, it's got to the point where uh, you even get heckled on The Tonight Show now. I mean, it was the last time I was doing stand-up, people were talking to me from the audience, which never happened. That didn't even happen in the clubs. But then you got to kind of figure that, that people are going to be vociferous and they're going to be a part of the show. So you just kind of either have to ignore it or, or include them in your show. So I've chosen to kind of include them and I ask them questions. And then it becomes more of a, more of a group effort, so to speak. Have you ever had anybody come up on stage or anything or get real hostile? Oh, yeah. When I was doing the one-man show, I had people come up on stage and, and want to fight me. Well, I, we do really? that every day right here. <laughs> Each other. <laughs> yeah. This, this, I uh, should have done a show with them, and then I'd be... Huh? But, no, I, yeah. Now, you're, was... you're from Atlanta, right? I'm from Macon, which is uh, south, a little south, south of Atlanta. Atlanta's Macon, a very Georgia. nice... Macon, Georgia. Now, Atlanta's well, a fine... They're going to host the, the, uh, the Olympics now. What, yes, do you are. think that's going to be a... Oh, a, God. Huh? What do you think that's going to be like? I don't know. It's, uh, first of all, you know, they built a building 
to house some of the uh, the athletes, and it sank a foot and a half. And Why? They, they, well, we, don't, we don't know. Oh. <laughs> uh, look at there. Y'all watch your head now when you go in there. It just sank. They don't, you know, it's, maybe they shouldn't have put it on the landfill. You know? <laughs> oh, you put it over there. They don't know. It's, uh, it's strange. Atlanta's a bit, you know, but I'll tell, people have misconceptions about the South. Uh, I live in Georgia, and I tell my friends when they go to, to Atlanta, remember when you get outside Atlanta, you're in Georgia. But Atlanta, Atlanta's a very cosmopolitan city. They have, do you know this? They have one of the best Shakespearean theaters in the world in Atlanta. You're they won, yes, they won some, uh, some sort of international Shakespearean. God, there's something funny coming uh, yeah. here. And they go on tour. I'm not making any of this up. Now, they go on tour. They have to take an interpreter with them when they get down to my part of Georgia. <laughs> to be or not to be, that is a question. Uh, I don't know whether to spit or go blind. So it's sort of a, uh, <laughs> sort of a liberal interpretation. <laughs> Clark, ladies and gentlemen, Thank good you luck so with your shows. I hope you have a spin-off. Yeah.